Hey guys, welcome back to The Gamer Play. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Video Pinball for the Atari 2600, and this game is brought to you by GamingOne.com. And joining me here for part two is Chilean Retro Gamer, Volvagia, and The Last Rising. How you guys doing? Good. Awesome. Yay. I don't know. Thought I'd include some of the GamingOne.com members while I play a little pinball, because it's so awesome. No, because I need material. Yeah, that's why. I'm playing pinball. Hey guys, I got some funny information for you that you may or may not be aware of. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Yeah. Apparently, pinball was banned from the early 1940s to the mid-1970s in most of America's big cities, including New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. And the reason behind this was, uh, was that pinball was a game of chance, not skill, and so it was a form of gambling. And many lawmakers huh. also believe pinball to be a mafia-run racket, and a time and dime waster for impressionable youth. What the fuck? Wow. You believe that shit? <laughs> that's fucking retarded. If someone told me that, I, I would not have believed him. Now really? that's crazy. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> I run pinball. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it was a mafia thing. Yeah, I can kind of see that, actually, pinball being a big mafia thing. But apparently the, uh... <laughs> This ban was overturned by the Supreme Court of California in 1974 uh, because if pinball machines were games of chance, the ordinance was preempted by state law governing games of chance in general, and if they were games of skill, the ordinance was unconstitutional as a denial of the equal protection of the, of the laws. You mm. said California? Yeah, but, you know, it pretty much happened, you know, all over the place. Like it's probably York, Mace Chicago, Around the same time, 74, 75, 76. And actually, uh, I was reading about this one court case where a guy was uh, testifying about this. Uh, and uh, he was in court. They brought in a pinball machine. And basically, he stated, this is not a game of chance. This is a game of luck. And what he would do is he would call out his shot of, of what he was going to do. He says, I'm going to hit my ball and knock this thing down. I'm going to do this, you know. As he called it, just like uh, what Babe Ruth did, he called out a shot, and he successfully, uh, you know, he hit it. He did what he said he was going to do, which which also helped overturn, overturn the bands. It's kind of crazy. That is insane. So what kind of pinball games do you guys play? Uh, there's, um, Microsoft what's that little pinball. mini game? Yeah, that, that Microsoft Pinball, the Space um, Pinball. Space that's, uh, Pinball. Um, I was kind of talking about yeah. that before, yeah. It comes with, like, all computers, all Windows computers, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it comes anymore. Hold on, I'll check real quick. That's pretty it, crazy. Yeah, it still does, I think. I think it's on so. If it's not, I'll be heavily surprised. Those sound effects, uh, I can still hear those sound effects. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have it, I don't think. And you can actually oh, yeah, turn can... on, you can turn music on. There's actually music that goes with it. Pinball. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy. Oh my god, it's not in Windows 7. Yeah, it isn't. It's got a chest now, a chest and oh, wow. Mahjong tiles. Not Windows 7. Hmm. I'll, uh -huh. I'll just, I'll torrent it later. <laughs> but Volv, do you have any, you have any pinball stories, Vol Volv? Or Chilean? Uh, well, not one that's particularly funny, but we broke it while well, my friend broke uh, the glass on the pinball machine when he actually was actually playing the game, not in anger, but just trying to actually play it himself. Like, he smashed his fist in the side of the glass when he was trying to reach for the lever for one of the uh, what are they called? The when we bouncer things, whatever the fuck they're called, and buttons? broke his fist. Well, yeah, one of the buttons type thing, and basically just broke his fist right, right through the glass itself and cut most of his wrists apart. That's was, awesome. I wish like, it was an anger. God, that would yeah, be even if it was better. An, if it was an anger, it would have been a good excuse, and they could have just been like, "Shit!" And when he got kicked out. Well, those like, people, actually, those games do piss you off sometimes. Yeah. The manager thought it was in anger, but it only, <laughs> he stated it was just a general accident. So you didn't have to pay for any of that shit? No, because it was an accident. Oh, please. I don't it's buy crazy. it, man. <laughs> it was actually winning, so I guess it couldn't have really been in anger. Shit. What about um, you, Chilean? Is pinball a big thing? Chilean may or may not be there right now. I don't know if he's with us. He could be idle. Seem like he's yeah, I think he's idle. He could be idle right now. But, uh... There was, there was this one pinball game I would always play at uh, my grandfather's house going to, uh, going on vacation. He uh, he owned this uh, pinball game uh, machine, kept it in his garage. I'd always play that thing uh, every time I visited. So that thing was badass. 
can't remember the name of it. I could probably find out if I, uh... Google. If I did some, uh... Nah, I could just... It's still in the family. It's still in the family. Some, uh, some mm. relative has it. It's like a legacy, man. It's like a legacy. <laughs> but, uh, back, uh, back to bands. Check this out, man. This kind of this kind of crazy shit still going on in uh in the states today at l at least the states actually pinball pinball is still banned in certain countries uh, I can't remember any specific ones right now but check this out just a few years ago Nashville overturned its ban on children uh, under the age of 18 to play uh, on a pinball machine apparently kind of crazy that, little that's rule. just insane why should there be an age restriction on a pinball machine and check this out uh, and to this day. It is still illegal to play uh, pinball on Sundays in Ocean City, New Jersey, which I'm sure they probably pay no attention to. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Sundays is a holy day. No pinball. No mm. pinball. It's kind of like beer, you know, a dry town on Sunday. Yeah. It's like a dry town. Ugh. Man, that's all over the place. So, like, there's yeah. crazy laws in Texas. Like, you can't carry uh, some wire cutters. Um, like, actually, that's a law right now that hasn't been overturned. No one, no one enforces a, a bunch of laws anymore. Yeah. It's just that they're still there. Yeah, they have those websites with those crazy, that you know, states have all these crazy weird laws. Which, uh, technically, no one enforces them. Hit this pinball law is probably on it. Hit the blue dot. I don't know. Did you guys buy like any at all any pinball games on any uh you know console, Nintendo, no, no. PlayStation? Um, or remember no. playing? I remember uh, as a kid, as a birthday present, I got like a little pinball machine. But I remember them being so big. But I, the reason I liked this one was because it was so small. But it was like delicate, so I broke it like after like a week of oh, playing on it. Oh, you mean one of those like plastic miniature ones? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, th I think I've had one of them. Yeah, they break so easily. Yeah, yeah that, that is a, another variation of a pinball game, a pinball machine. And of course, now you can actually buy you can buy a pinball machine for a couple hundred bucks, or probably on several eBay. several couple hundred, uh, on uh, on like eBay and stuff like that. I've seen auctions. You know, they're pretty cool. And they've always had uh, some pretty famous uh, pinball games. You know, because, you know, certain pinball games, they put in a lot of, like, kind of extra, like, crazy crap. You know, like, launchers and, you know, kind of, like, weird obstacles and things like that. Some of them are basic, you know, with the, with the basic instruments. But then, you know, some are more elaborate and kind of creative. And that's what always made it interesting. Well, they have those bumper things, like, once you hit it, like, bounces off, like, even harder. I don't know what they're called. Like, super bumpers? Yeah, something like that. They keep, uh, they created, oh, no, the death trap. They created a lot of weird new stuff, but, uh, it's kind of a shame that nowadays, you know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty much extinct. I think only one, uh, there's not many companies that produce pinball games anymore. I think it's down to a <laughs> no. couple, or... Or maybe one or something. But, yeah, it's Damn. dwindling. Poor old pinball. But you always, yeah, you, no. always find, uh, you always find one in a bar, right? <laughs> Anyone been to a yeah, bar lately? Just... <laughs> not not uh, Last Rising? Well, the, the pups here don't really have... Not, uh, not a bar. I went to... Every museum I've ever been to has, like, it's a reception area, kind of like where all the... Um, uh, what's it called? Where they sell just some, like... Um, things from the museum gift, just for uh, money they have yeah gift shops gift shop. they always have a paintball machine there I remember playing on it like huh. a couple of field trips it's weird I don't know well here in Pops they only have like pool tables so they really don't have pinball machines There's anymore pool tables no pinballs at the bar I usually uh, go to uh, you know there's a there's a couple on the back still there's a couple of pinballs I miss when bars used to have That's the only place too. where older people pretty much uh, find arcades or pinballs nowadays. At the at the at local bars or pubs, as Volv likes to say, the pub. Bloody hell! I'm going to the pubs. Bloody For hell! For God's sakes! I'm going to the bloody pub now. Volv, what did you say uh, the other day? You're going to the store uh, for I was a going drink. Going to the shop to buy a drink. Yeah. Volv is going to the shop to buy a drink. Oh, that's so awesome! He's going to the shop to buy a drink and play some pinball. <laughs> Bloody hell. Awesome what the stuff. fuck? What the what fuck? The fuck? 
So yeah, pinball's come a long way. It's been through a lot of crazy shit. Apparently, it was big for the mafia. It was banned. Uh, it's been unbanned. It's still banned in some countries. What's that, Volv? I made a lot of money off of pinball with my racketeering of it. <laughs> yeah, Volv is in the Scottish mafia, so he's made a lot of money off of it. Hmm. But anyway, I want to thank Volvagia and The Last Rising for joining me. Good stuff. Bye-bye. Yeah, Yay! I'm Dave the Usher for the Gamer Play. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.